What up, fam? It's your boy, Chris Cage, coming at you two times, and it's now time for another quarantine haul. The mail came today, and I'm about to show you what I've absolutely got. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. A whole bunch of packages came today, and I'm about to show you what's in them. Sorry, <laughs> Starting off with the first three. Stealth. Now, this is a childhood one of mine because of the fact that I used to have this as a youngin. We have seen this before in a quarantine haul video, but when I cracked that one open, the wheel wasn't rolling any, any good. So, hopefully this one will be much better. Also, next up right here, we got ourselves a tea bucket, part of the classic series, series one, for 24 out of 25. I wonder what, what, what the 25th car is. And also, since there was no Race Bay 308 from Bid It Win It 09, I got a ground effects instead. I personally love the ground effects, and I would love to get every version of this casting if I wanted to. But yes, purple cars in this street threesome right here, and it ends up with the ground effects. Now these next three I've been waiting to get from quite some time, and I saw them at Walmart years ago, but I finally are, is able to get some. They are Designer's Challenge. Now, when I was playing Supercar Street Challenge, I thought this was part of Supercar Street Challenge for some odd reason. But no, this is a Designer's Challenge. Basically, actual designers will make cars, Hot Wheels cars in real life and in Hot Wheels form for collectors like me to get. And they did they, they did a good job with some of these. On the back, you see there are the Lotus Concept. You'll see that soon. Double Shots, Dodge XP07, Honda Racer, GM Chevrolet, HW40, and then this. The Ford Gangster Grin. Look how gangster it is with his grin. Plus it's black with black flames on it too, so it looks really cool as well. The next designer's challenge car we got is the GM Chevrolet. This, I believe, is in a large size die cast as well as also a real life car as well. But one that is a real life car is on the bottom here, and that is a Honda Racer. And I specifically ordered it in this color because that was the one I saw when I was doing car pictures way back in the day. So nice to get these castings right here. And they'll be ready to race. What's when I set them free? We also got one more Designer's Challenge car, and that's the Lotus Concept. Looking at the back here, I better hope it rolls good. If not, there'll be some problems with this casting. Pretty sure a lot of people will have problems with the Lotus Concept because the back wheels and all that. But I know what you're seeing down here. It's the return of a treasure hunt. This time it is the Tricera truck, the M case treasure hunt. Below that, you will see a Stata Hato. Now, you may have seen this before in a showcase video, as this was part of a Fast and the Furious Spy Racer showcase video. But unlike that one, this one doesn't do a damn thing, obviously. It's all one piece. But still, a good casting to look at, regardless. Here we have your next three, which we have some heavy hitters here. First up, we got the 17 Lamborghini Urus. Now this is the production model of the Urus, which means that any other Uruses are all concept ones, especially the one released in the 2014 B case. That is a concept car concept SUV and this is the production SUV speaking of production look at this 89 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S I'm not a fan of FC RX-7s I love the FD RX-7 but this is a good one too I, I'm, I, I'm I kind of grown to like a little bit of the boxy cars 
this that most of them don't look all that great. And also, new color for the Mod Rod in black and red, representing NWO Wolfpack. For those of you who watch WCW, you probably know what I'm talking about. But, I mean, just look at it. Only thing is, though, it's, it's matte black, so it's not like all red. It's matte black with red decals. And it has a red base, too. So it's really giving out that Wolfpack-like theme to the car. And then finally, we have two castings here. 49 Merc. About damn time I got one of these. I have a hard nose coupe version of the 49 Merc. And also, we have the Hot Wheels 4 Transit Connect. And well, if you ever heard of the song that goes, And another one gone, and another one gone, and another one bites the dust. Look at this. This casting has gotten retooled. If your eyes are not working, you can clearly see a big chunk of metal taken out of this car and molded into plastic all the way to the rear. And plus, there's a big wing on the back of the casting, too. So I don't know why that's there. And plus, wasn't there something else on the top of this uh, Transit Connect? I have no idea. But, yes, ladies and gentlemen, even even the base is altered. Ladies and gentlemen, a Hot Wheels casting has suffered yet another retool. And it wasn't that long ago. Uh, in the 2014 P, and P or Q case, I've seen this casting new. So it's crazy to think that six years later... And by the way, that casting, that this casting is... Or my relationship is older than this than this casting, the first tooling. But I'm shocked that they had to change it again. Which leads me to think, what else is going to change? Anyway, that will do it for today's Hot Wheels haul. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, be sure to subscribe. And also, turn on the notifications bell as well. It's your boy, Chris Cage. I'm... Coming at you two times, and we will see you at the next video.